Hello everyone. Welcome to the Art of Mindful Singing intro class. I'm so happy you're here. Hope it's a beautiful afternoon, evening, morning, wherever you are in the world. <laughs> All right, just letting a few more people in here. <clears throat> We have just over 200 people registered for this course today. So as people arrive, I will be admitting them. And so we will begin with singing. How does that sound? As people arrive. All right. This is a song from Botswana. Um, and it's about um, inviting the children of the village to... Oh, hi, Baji. I just saw you. <laughs> <laughs> um, to work together in song. And it goes like this. Tuli, 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 tuli. Tuli, 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 tuli. Ready? Tuli, 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 tuli. Tuli, 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 tuli. Let's try that again. Tuli, 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 tuli. 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 All right, the high part. Tuli, 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 tuli. Tuli, 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 tuli. Tuli, 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 tuli. Tuli, 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 tuli. Again. Tuli, 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 tuli. Tuli, 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 tuli. Beautiful. So I want to invite you as we're singing to feel those L's and those T's right in the front of the mouth here. Tu, 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 li, 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 li. Feel the tip of the tongue right there against the roof of the mouth in the front. Here we go. So melody part and then harmony. I'm, I'm going to alternate between the melody and the harmony. And you can sing with me or sing the opposite of me. Up to you. Tuli, 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 tuli. 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 One more time. Tuli, 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 tuli. Tuli, 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 tuli. Beautiful. 
Did any of you have the experience of holding your own part? <laughs> Some of you did. Did any of you have the experience of singing with me and blending with my voice? Very nice. All right. So I will send more information out about that chant in the um, in the follow up email when I send out the recording link for this video. Um, <clears throat> I would love for you to post in the chat and say where you're coming from and why you're here today. Why do you choose to be here today? Maybe you have a curiosity. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's something else. Let me know why you're here. And um, I just want to look through, see who's here. Hi, Kate. Hi, Kathy. Hello, Ed. Hi, Marsha. Vivian, welcome. Sharon, welcome. Erica, hi. Good to see you, honey. It's been such a long time. Oh, hi, Amanda, Katie, and Miriam, and Jenny, and Stacy, Kate, I'm naming all the people on my front screen, Amanda, and Carla, and Karen, Linda, Donna, Bernice, Sharon, Jane, and Melanie, and there are many, many more pages. Um, good, so I'm just going to read through a few of these. I will go back and read the rest of them after class. I love to check in and, and read the comments later, so feel free to ask me questions in the comments. Um, all right, Illinois, I sing with your evening online circle. Hi, Lisa. Um, Maya from Florida, I love to sing. Lake Oswego, I love singing with you on Mondays. Oh, good. Hi, Kathy. Um, Carol from San Jose, Miriam from Iowa, Caitlin from Los Gatos. I'm here because I'm curious and want to feel more confident in my singing. Fantastic. Bellingham, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. It's been a long, cold winter. That's why you're here. <laughs> All right, let's warm you up <laughs> from the inside out with your vibration and your breath. Maggie's here from the UK. She's here to sing. Hi, Maggie. Great. Jackie from Madison. Hi, Jackie. For the pure joy of it. San Rafael. Cavari. Hi, Cavari. Um, Susan from Bennington, Vermont, because I love to sing and want to do more of it. Maya Leela. Hello from Southern Oregon. After 10 years of being terrified to sing, I've done so much healing and I'm looking to continue my singing journey. Wonderful, Maya. Good job getting here. Carla, Calgary, Canada, Curiosity, want to find my singing voice. Beautiful. Catherine from Los Angeles, just bought a Shruti box and want to start intuitive singing with it. Fantastic. We will do some Shruti box singing today. <clears throat> I'm letting more people in. Here we go. Oops. Um, Let's see, I'll read a few more and then we'll start singing. Um, Liz, hi Liz, from LA, here is to continue singing to do so and to do something vulnerable. Yeah, singing can be quite vulnerable, can't it? Yes, um, Michelle from White Rock, Canada, need to sing, great. Love to chant and sing in groups in general. Sharon from Newton, Massachusetts. Yay, um, Rika, hiya from nighttime Germany. Oh, it's nighttime there. Here because it's a rare opportunity to experience this and find out what it's like. Wonderful. I'm glad you're here, Rika. All right, hi, Andy. I love singing with you. Carmel, hi, glad you're here. Oh, so many people. Oh, you love and miss singing with Heather. Thanks, Teresa. Hi. Hello from Capitola. I love singing Oregon to open my heart through song. Oh, so many good reasons why you're here. Spiritual connection, synchronistic, synchronistically. Spirit brought me here, brought you here synchronistically. Beautiful. All right. Open your throat chakra just to sing. All right, the art of mindful singing gathering, you're curious about it, to become a more confident singer, 
beautiful. All these beautiful reasons why you're here. So many that I can't read all of them right now. I will go back and read them later. All right. So I'm so happy you're here. I love, love, love teaching this course. Um, this course um, is so near and dear in my near and dear to my heart because I really found my voice when I did a deep dive into my voice as a tool for healing, as a tool for connection, as a tool for transformation. For many years, for me, singing was about performing. It was about performance. It was about expression. I mean, and it still is. It still is about performance. It still is about expression. Um, and now when I perform, when I express my voice out into the world, I feel so much more embodied and so much more connected to my voice. And it's because I took the time to do some really deep exploration with my vibration and with my instrument. And it really changed my experience with my singing. Um, singing became more about <clears throat> what it felt like, what it feels like for me on the inside, rather than what other people hear on the outside, or what I even think I'm going to hear on the outside. It's more about the feeling sense. And when we, I think when we sing from that place, we, we are more connected to ourselves. Um, we learn to be more present with ourselves and with our vibration and with everything right so it's it's one it's one way to train ourselves to come home to the present moment it's through the vehicle of the voice so these are a few of the things that we'll be doing here hi rika from germany oh beautiful if you haven't yet put in the chat where you're from go ahead and and put your name and where you're from in the chat that'd be wonderful um I also like to talk about how singing is not a competitive sport, right? Our <clears throat> culture has turned singing into a competition, right? Um, we have all these singing competitions that we watch on TV. I mean, I'm guilty too. I mean, I, I love to watch <laughs> some of those shows, The Voice and American Idol. I'll watch little clips, you know. Um, but what's happened is we we tend to think that if we're if we're not competing or if we're not a professional, that we shouldn't be singing. Um, and I'm really working to help people come together to support each other in their singing and to support themselves in their singing and to do it because it's something that we do together as a community and we do together as a people and we do for ourselves to feel more whole and at home in ourselves. Singing is a way to call us home. So, um, yeah, let's begin with just shaking our bodies out. All right, go ahead and start start the journey here, the vocal journey. So just shaking and put a little tone to it. Ah, good, shimmy your shoulders a bit. Ah, good, and shake a little bit more, put some tone to it. Ah, Good, roll the shoulders back. All right, bring the arms above the head, interlacing the fingers, stretching over to one side. Ooh. Good, and back up. And over to the other side. Oh, that is so tricky for me. I had my second vaccine two days ago and my left arm is really sore. All right, all the way over. Ah. Breathing into your back body. Good. And rolling up one vertebra at a time. Nice and slow. Rolling your shoulders back. <sighs> Hi, Anaina. Good to see you. All right, stretch out your mouth. <laughs> Uh, stretch 
shut the mouth, stick out the tongue. Ah, good. Massage the jaw. All right. We're going to begin with a nice deep breathing exercise. Our foundation for our singing is the breath, right? The whole body is the instrument. So we often think of the voice as just coming from here, from the throat, from the throat chakra. It truly is the whole body. And what gives us support for our singing is the breath, is the diaphragm, and the earth. So if you can feel your feet connecting to the earth or your sits bones, if you're sitting, either way, all right? And we're going to imagine that there's a balloon on the inside of our torso, right? And this balloon, hold on one moment, I'm going to put this on speaker view, there we go. This balloon is going to open up wide and deep as we inhale. So as you inhale, the breath is going down and deep into the abdomen. So taking a nice deep inhale to begin. And then exhale all your air. And imagine that you have a little teeny tiny stir stick and sipping through that stir stick as slowly as you can. And beginning to open, expand that balloon from the inside out into the sides of the waist, the lower belly, the solar plexus, the lower rib cage, around into the back. If at any time you begin to feel any tension building, you want to release. So this, this form of singing that I like to teach is all about relaxation. It's all about openness. There's, we're not holding any tension at any point. All right, so let's go ahead and do that again. If you're still inhaling, that's fine. So if you've already released your breath, take a nice deep inhale. Exhale all your air. Belly button towards the spine as slowly as you can. So this course is really a lot about slowing down. We, um, in order to express fully, we need to deeply connect. And in order to deeply connect, we need to slow ourselves down. Slow down our minds, slow down our bodies. We move so fast in this culture day to day. So this is an opportunity for you to slow down and pay attention, all right? So one hand to the heart, one hand to the belly, and taking a nice deep breath into the belly, expanding like a balloon, and humming. Deep inhale again. Mm -hmm. I want to invite you to create a little more space on the inside of the mouth. Imagine you have a little bird egg in there. Relaxing the jaw, lifting the roof of the mouth. Actually, go ahead and yawn first. Feel the roof of the mouth lift. Yeah. 
all that space in there. Let's get that bird egg in there. Nice deep inhale and Raise your hand if that time felt different for you. Mm -hmm. You may have noticed more vibration traveling. You may have noticed you could hold it longer. Go ahead and post in the chat if there's something you want to share. Let's do that again. Nice deep inhale. Mm. Yeah, way more vibration. You feel it more in your body. Exactly. <clears throat> the vibration wants somewhere to go, it wants somewhere to connect with, and we need to create space for that. If we sing in a coat closet filled with linens and coats, our voice is not going to go very far. If we sing in a cathedral, it travels, right? And it, and it can hit these different walls. Um, it's like our, 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 or I like to say it's like the inside of a guitar to the body of a guitar, right? So the inside of the mouth is like the hole inside the guitar. And if you were to stuff that guitar with towels, it wouldn't go the sound wouldn't go very far when you pluck it, right? But this, all of this area here, all these bones, these are conductors all the way down. Your whole body, all the bones in your body are conductors for the sound. And they need the primary vibration created here and the vocal cords needs room to travel and then to connect. And once it connects, it can really move. So, yeah, so imagine, or I want you to, to just notice where you feel your vibration. Sometimes I notice it moving down my spine. Sometimes it's like these rivers of vibration moving down my shoulders, down my chest, down my spine, even all the way down my legs sometimes. Sometimes the rivers of vibration move up and they travel up into this cathedral space here. So just noticing where your vibration wants to move and travel. So let's do that three more times in a row, just completely paying attention inside. Okay, nice deep breath. Now we're going to put four syllables together, L-M-N-U, U-M-N-U. Go ahead and listen the first time. Um. Together. Um. Some of you might be switching to the higher register here. Be gentle. This is all about gentleness. Before we do this one, this is all about gentleness. It's all about feeling your vibration on the inside. This is not expressing your voice out into the space. All right, bring it in. Mm -hmm. If you try to push it, you're going to feel like you need to cough. Mm -hmm. And one more.
sliding down. Good. How many of you hit a speed bump in there on the way down? Uh -huh. <laughs> Good. Now I want you to slow down right before you are about to hit that speed bump. Go a little slower and see what happens. Raise your hand if you notice something different that time. Yeah, a little smoother maybe. Yes. The vocal cords need your support right there. They need more presence. They need more airflow as you move, as you shift through that register, the larynx are actually shifting gears right there and they need your support. So let's do that one more time. Nice, slow slide. You can even use your hand as you go down. Here we go. All right, so I have two chants to teach you today, and one of them is from the Kundalini tradition. I always like to teach this one on the, um, the opening, the, the free introductory class, because it's so powerful to work with the Ong. The Ong gets us really connected here to the mask of the face, which is one of the places we really want to connect into when we, were, when we are singing. All right, and then the other one <clears throat> I will teach you in a bit. We'll do that one with the Shruti box. So for now, the lyrics are Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. Now, this chant came through for me when I was practicing a lot of yoga and doing a lot of inner transformational work. And it, it came to me when I was on a deep, deep, deep journey. I was on a cleanse, an Ayurvedic cleanse. And um, gosh, this was 25 years ago, maybe. And it has been with me ever since. And I sing it a lot. I chant it a lot. There were there was a time there when I chanted it almost every morning. And it's really calling upon your own inner wisdom or your guides. The wisdom of your guides, your own inner wisdom, however you relate with the wisdom that exists. All right. So Hong, just first sing O N G. Hong, you want to have your jaw relaxed here. Hong, maybe bring one hand out here so you can feel the vibration into the space here. Hong. You feel that vibration in your hand up there? All right. The next part is Nam Feel the N. Helen, to answer your question, where did it come from? The mantra, which are the, the seed syllables, when you put seed syllables together, they create a mantra. And this mantra that you speak or you hear internally in meditation, 
comes from the Kundalini tradition. The melody itself came through me in a meditation. So once you put a melody to a mantra, it becomes a chant. Om Namo. Try that with me. Om Namo. I want to invite you to feel each and every one of those syllables, especially the consonants. Again. Om Namo. Good listening. Guru Dev Namo Guru Dev Namo Do that again Guru Dev Namo Now feel the gu 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 that g happens that consonant in particular happens in the back of the, the mouth with the tongue and the roof of the mouth. Gu, 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 ru. And we get that nice R, ru, 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 bringing the energy and the awareness to the front of the mouth again. Gu, ru, 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 de, 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 de. That D is so nice. You feel the tip of the tongue. Uh, uh, against the roof of the mouth, de, 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 and then hold the V and feel the V right here on the lip. Guru Dev Namo, Guru Dev Namo. Yes. Now, listening to the whole chant. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Here we go. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Listening. Om Namo Guru Dev Listening again. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Here we go, all together. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Good, let's pause for a moment. So a mantra is that which protects the mind from itself, right? And from external distractions. So, and when we really dive into that place where the brain can entrain to a pattern, to a mantra like this, then it can let go into this quiet spaciousness. All right, so I invite you to fully dive in. Allow yourselves to be present. Whatever it takes for you to be present with your breath, with your vibration, with the seed syllables, all of those things. All right, here we go. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo 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 Om 
sure you're breathing. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. 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 Taking a moment to tune in with the wisdom of your heart is telling you in this moment. Who would like to post in the chat what the wisdom of their heart is telling them? irresistible. You get it right here. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. Irresistible. Try that. Irresistible. Harmony singer. Harmony singer. Good. Listening. Everything will be that in oneness inhaling through your mouth let's do that one again oneness raise your hand if that felt different that time a little more space a little more vibration right so when we're singing we want to inhale through our mouths when we're walking and exercising, we want to inhale through our noses. We want to inhale through our noses as much as possible. That's the healthiest way to breathe. And when we're singing, the best way to breathe is through your mouth so that you're nice and open. Listening. Enjoying the harmony. Enjoying the harmony It's good. Bringing a hand to the jaw here. A beautiful way to sing the E is to relax the jaw. Try singing Peace Abides again with a relaxed jaw. Peace Abides again. 
Did that feel different? Yeah, you might have even felt more vibration here. Yeah, pretty amazing, huh? Let's do it one more time. It's good, listening. Relax, release. Relax, release. And feel the vibes. And feel the vibes. When we sing an I, we want to think ah, ah to I. Vibes, it's a vowel migration. Vibes. E Simplicity, nice one to get connected to the front of the mouth. Simplicity is the key. Mm. Clear my sinuses. Clear my sinuses and find more. And find more ease. Bring more stillness. Bring more stillness. Still. remembering itself my heart is remembering itself my voice is necessary my voice is necessary I was just reading the rest of these. To have faith, such a quick way in. Yes, the vibration is such a quick way in, isn't it? My rocking chair is awesome and helps. <laughs> I love that, Annie. What I'm getting is relaxation, simplicity, authenticity. Yes, and clearing congestion. Beautiful. Thank you, everyone. So... I have a beautiful chant for you from Nigeria, and it's called Ishe Oluwa. And at first, I'm just going to have you, without the lyrics, um, just do call and response with me. Um, Ishe Oluwa. Ishe Oluwa Kole Bajeo 
good work, love's good work, will never be destroyed. And I like to think of it, at, think of it as love's good work lives on for eternity. It's eternal. And um, yes, Helen. And um, here are the lyrics. I wanted to, I what I want to invite you to do is try not to look at the lyrics and to really just pay attention on the inside of your body and how the chant feels. Sometimes lyrics can, if we're, if we're watching the lyrics, it can be distracting, right? So coming in to your vibration, to your voice as much as you can. So listening. Roof of the mouth. Ishe Olua. Good listening. Kole Oh, yeah. 
she olua kole ba je o kole ba je o where you feel presence could be in the chest the roof of the mouth the mask of the face the crown of the head or anywhere else where you might feel it here we go <laughs> that again. Connect our hair to the roof of the mouth and into the mask of the face. Deep inhale, and inside out. And 
one more nice deep inhale all together. On the exhale, gently opening your eyes. Thank you for journeying with me today with your voices. Such an honor. See a few questions over here. I'm going to answer some of your questions. And I also just want to want you to post, would invite you to post in the chat um, if you've noticed a shift in your energy in the last 45 minutes or so and what you may have noticed. Maya, we do sing more upbeat songs as the 10-week series goes on. Because this course is about singing mindfully, I slow everyone down to begin. And then later on, I add in a couple of chants that are more up in rhythm so that we can still pay attention. Because sometimes when we just sing fast and sing all the up ones, it gets out here. Right? So I'm really inviting you to come in the language that was um, in the Yoruba language from Nigeria. Um, so calming. That was so nice. It's hard not to get caught up in whether it sounds good when I sing it. I know. So that is the trap right there, is whether or not the production of your sound and your tone sounds good. Really, you want to feel if it feels good. And when it feels good, when you are singing for your own enjoyment and your own pleasure, it will sound good on the outside. People will notice. You will notice. Going slow helps me to really feel, yes, yes, so calming and connected. My throat is starting to close down and feel strain. Okay, Linda. So that could be a few things. It could be that you're pushing your voice from your chest voice. It could be that you're not connecting to your resonance up here. And it could be that you may not be taking deep enough breaths into your belly and feeling the support from your diaphragm. Um, but we'll talk more about that in the 10 week series that's coming up. Um, it could be fear. Yes, it could be a number of things. This is a lovely experience. Is it normal for my ears to feel like they're, are, they're in an airplane? Oh, go ahead and pop your ears. Yeah, sometimes things get kind of plugged up in there and then they pop and then you have more space and more freedom. It's very interesting how that all works in there. That's happened for, for me before too. So beautiful. Thank you. Such an honor and a privilege to be with you. Thank you, Kate. Peaceful center, more clarity and peace. Feel much more connected now. I love singing and noticing the roof of my mouth. More breath control, open, centered, light, and clear. Um, um, I will send you the recording, Annie, so that you can hear the first chant again. I feel the same as I do after meditation. Beautiful, beautiful, Lainey. Yes. That is what we're going for here. Good, you're tired, but you feel uplifted and calm. Good, you're welcome. Calmer inside, feeling more calm, very beautiful. Thank you, everybody. All right, I will look at the rest of these. So many beautiful comments, oh my gosh. I love going back and reading the comments later. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Should you practice with the recording? Well, yeah, absolutely. Um, what I would really recommend is that you join my 10-week series coming up in the Art of Mindful Singing. And I'll tell you a little bit about what that's about. We do things that are similar to what I did today with all of you. Um, and then some. So um, we'll be doing lots of different vocal exercises and breathing exercises, mantra and chanting and songs and vocal meditation with the Shruti box. 
Um, and I'll bring a collection of chants. I bring a new collection of chants every session. So you'll have the opportunity to learn more newer chants if you've done this course with me before. Um, we're also going to do a chakra and vocal awakening toning exercise this session that I used to do many years ago and it just came back around into my experience and, and I was like, oh yeah, that exercise. So we're going to do that this session. Um, we'll continue with Ishe Oluwa. We're going to do one of my own called Brave Magic. Um, we'll do one from India, the Tumare Darshan. Um, so many beautiful chants that we'll be doing this session. And you'll be learning the Sare Gam. Sare Gama Padani Sa Sani Dapa Magare Sa But nice and slow, it's like the Do Re Mi. It's the Do Re Mi in the Sanskrit language. And we'll be going really slowly at first to find all of the shrutis, which are the notes in between the notes. The notes in between the notes are where the magic lies. It lies in the notes too, but the, that in-between space we tend to ignore in our Western culture. So we spend a lot of time, Sare, you know how I slid a, a lot with you today with the shruti box, with your words. Um, it's also the the energy, the, the act of sliding is also extremely conditioning for your vocal cords. So um, we do a lot of that in this course as well. So I'll be giving you a lot of good practices to take home and use for your vocal health and your vocal wellness and all the other things <laughs> that we talked about today. So um, the course is 10 weeks. It starts next Thursday at one o'clock. Yay! I know some of you have been waiting. <laughs> we finished last session a few weeks ago and I know some of you are like, I can't wait for the next session to start. Um, there's a hole in your Thursday. I know, I get it. <laughs> so we'll be starting um, Thursday, next Thursday at one o'clock. All right. And um, I will put, I have a discount link for all of you that are on the call today. I'm going to put it in the chat for you. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm going to grab this link for you and put it in there. This is a $25 discount. Um, the $25 discount is accessible through the weekend. The early bird price is available through tomorrow. So if you want to get the early bird price and the discount, <laughs> do it before Friday um, at midnight. Um, but if you want more time to think about it over the weekend, you can still get the discount of $25. All right. It's, um, oh, Kathy, send me an email, okay? <laughs> Um, so any other question? Oh, the link says sales ended. Hold on one second. Let me just change it. Let me change the settings. It shouldn't say that. It should be good through May 2nd. Starts now through May 2nd, $25. Will someone else try and see if they get it to work? Try it again. I just updated it. Let's see. Let me give you the new link. Still says that it's ended. That's so interesting. Okay, hold on one moment. Let me see if I can fix this for all of you. <laughs> ah. 
while we're on the call together. Um, I'm going to just go and make a new one because clearly this one is not working. So, thank you for your patience. Okay. Okay, fingers crossed, everybody. <laughs> you're amazing that you're still hanging out here with me. I love it. <laughs> Try that one. I'm holding my breath over here. Kathy Lewis is shaking her head no. The discount code works. Looking forward. Yay! Allison said it works. Thank you. Bye for today. But okay. The discount code. Okay. How about this? <laughs> uh, share the promo code. It should be working. All right. I will send an email out to all of you. If you can't get it to work, it sounds like some of you are able to get it to work and some of you are not. My link is for the class today. Oh my gosh, you're right. Okay, if you hold on one more moment, I'll get it to you. I will email it to you too if you need to go, everybody. Um, but I will... create another one right now you want to grab it. It'll take me a few hours to send you the email because I need to um, upload the video to YouTube. This one is going to work. I was just doing it on the wrong event. That's what happened. All right. I love that you're all still here. <laughs> all right. This one's going to work. This part of what I do is not my favorite part or my easy part. It's working? Okay. Thank you for your patience. Just show up and sing with me. That part will be great. <laughs> Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you for your patience. What if you have a question still? Join the 10-week course. You'll have lots of time for me to answer your questions. Um, in the 10-week course, that's another thing that I do is um, at the beginning of the course for the few, first few weeks, I have you ask questions at the beginning of class so that I can answer them as we move through the session. Um, at, through the class. It's, it's actually really helpful for me when you ask me questions because then I know where to go with the class that day. So um, yeah, I love to answer your questions. Love, 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 love. Um, 
Yay. Nice to meet you all. Could you sign in early? Um, yeah, you could. Heather, just would love to know what your training is. Hi, Maria. Um, yes, I've had so much training. Um, my grandfather and my mother are both singers. My grandfather did musical theater. My mom did all kinds of singing. So I was raised in a family of singers. Um, and then I did, I trained in vocal production in college and took all the choirs and ensembles and jazz and everything you could imagine um, and studied jazz for many years. And then I went and studied with Sylvia Nakash and did more of this uh, Sanskrit and Indian chanting. That's when I discovered yoga and um, yeah, lots of classical, lots of jazz and lots of mantra and vocal meditation. Though That is my background. Um, my voice is so pure. Oh, thank you. Um, Beautiful. Yes, I will send the, the discount code in an email as well with the replay of this class today. So I'm so delighted that you were here. Shall we close with a song? I love that you're all still here. I'm just, I'm so tickled. Like you just hung out with me while I struggled with a discount code for 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, all right. So let's send all this good vibration to where we know it needs to go if you want to hold that in your heart or you want to post it in the chat um wherever you know this needs to go i want to send this to india right send whatever juice you cultivated inside yourself today that you have extra and you can just send it out as a prayer send it out to where you know it needs to go You'll catch on. We send our love over the mountains. We send our love over the sea. We send our love over the sea. We send our love. We send our love into the heavens, into the heavens. And it returns. And it returns to me. We send our joy. We send our joy over the mountains. We send our joy over the sea. We send our joy into the heavens. And it returns to me. We send our prayers. We send our prayers over the mountains. We send our prayers over the sea. We send our prayers into the heavens. And it returns to me. And it returns. And it returns to me. Yes, yes, yes. Your voice matters. Your time of getting present with yourself and your voice matters. It is a healing balm for this world. So thank you for being here with me and taking the time. I truly hope that I'll see you in the 10-week course. Please email me if you have any questions, okay? Okay. Bye, everybody. I'll unmute you so that you can say goodbye to each other and to me. I took off the child safety lock so you can unmute yourselves. Thank <laughs> you.